guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So um, this morning I thought I really wanna do a video about my hair because I was in the shower and I was literally thinking about the fact that I've actually never had my hair this long before. So if you're watching and you're thinking it's not that long, if you know me, this is obviously the longest I've ever had my hair. But um, I basically, probably since I was about two, um, my dream was to have long blonde hair, probably because Barbie always had long blonde hair and she influences you quite a lot when you're about four. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've always wanted long blonde hair, it's never gone away. Um, this is the first time in 26 years that I've actually managed to get it long and really healthy. So I thought I'd do a video with you guys, share it if you've got blonde hair, if it's dry, if it's breaking or anything like that then keep watching I'll let you know basically what I've done to keep it this way. So I felt like I needed to show you some pictures so you can actually see how far I've come. <laughs> um, this picture was taken in summer of 2013. Doesn't look too bad, very short but the reason it's the hair is behind my ear is because it was about two inches long on that side of my head which is what I'm just about to show you. There we go, there's the pixie cut. <laughs> which wasn't cut like that I just want to add it just broke off like that on the one side of my head so I had to wear my hair behind my ear for about a year two years until it grew so yeah that's what bleach does to your hair <laughs> um this next picture this is last summer so um not too bad I really started looking after it at this point so the condition and the health of it was getting loads better stop using bleach but unfortunately I did put extensions in after this so this next picture is not as good because it's just after I had them taken out. So this one is one year ago, so December 2015. So this is just after my extensions were taken out. So this is a year ago, so you can see now, obviously it's a clear year since this picture was taken and where I've come in the last year. So this picture I'm just showing you because I wanted you to know how black, or not black, dark brown my roots are naturally. So I thought um, you can get a bit of, a bit of a picture of how dark my hair actually is. So I'm going to start with the colour. Um, so basically my hair naturally is dark brown. <laughs> so you probably wouldn't notice because I've not long had my roots done. But naturally I am really dark. But like I said, since I was so young, I've always just wanted to be blonde. <laughs> now probably, obviously my mum didn't let me dye my hair until I was probably about 15. And then I had like the bleach highlights and... From then on, my mum used to dye it, I used to dye it, Any, I, I used to, sometimes I used to dye it with bleach and then I didn't like the colour because it was too brassy and I used to put a dye straight on top the same hour as I took the bleach off. So <laughs> that would have been killing my hair loads. So um, what I actually do now, the first thing I would 100% recommend is go to a hairdresser. <laughs> It sounds simple and it sounds silly, but when you're dyeing your hair blonde, I don't think you should be using box dyes. You shouldn't be using bleach. It can it can ruin your hair, which I found out the hard way and I don't know why it took me this long to realize it, but it did. So um, another thing that I will say is, now I go to the hairdressers, I don't have bleach on my hair. I actually have high lift tint. So, it's basically this, I have the, the lightest blonde, even though it's quite caramelly because my hair's quite dark. And they basically, um, they paste it on my roots. Uh, it's not, it, obviously it's hair dye, it's not gonna be good for your hair, but it's nowhere near as damaging as bleach. So if you do have blonde hair, I would suggest, I do have really dark hair naturally. It is okay just to put tint on it, but obviously go to a hairdresser, trying to do it yourself, you might end up orange, <laughs> or all sorts of colors, which I've been before, so don't worry. <laughs> I've definitely done that. So um, I was just gonna work way through each thing I do. So first of all, um, I was gonna start with like shampoo and conditioner. So um, I originally, um, when I started like washing my hair, I find I get a lot of build up. So I tend to have to change my shampoo and conditioner quite a lot. Otherwise I wash it and like the next day it looks greasy again. So to be honest, I've always changed mine a lot. So I'll tell you one that I really liked when I first changed it to, and it is, oh, these ones here, it's OGX and it's the keratin oil one. So I first started using these and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe the difference in my hair. It was so silky and so soft. And I always thought my hair was just really dry. And then I kind of realized the shampoo and conditioner you use 
does affect the texture of your hair. And I kind of always thought, oh, it's quite dry, my hair, until I started using those shampoos. Now, I was recommended by a friend to try Moroccan oil. Now, I'm not gonna lie, they are expensive, but I do absolutely love them. So this is the one I'm using currently, which is the Moisture Repair Moroccan Oil. Now, um, I was recommended to them by a friend who said they're really good. Now, also, it just so happens, I didn't even realize this, but when I researched both shampoos, both of them are sulfate free. Now that could be the reason why I love them so much because it's less damaging on your hair. So that is probably a good reason as to why I felt like it was so much better. I didn't even know they were sulfate free until I looked into it. But I now I know, and now I know how they are on my hair, I would 100% recommend using a sulfate free, especially if you color it a lot or you use a lot of straighteners or heat curling irons, then I would 100% recommend it just because it is so much less damaging on your hair. Okay, so secondly, once it's wet, now I have had extensions quite a lot recently because before my hair was this long, I hated having short hair. It was literally up here and I was like, I just wanna be Rapunzel and have long blonde hair. So I have had extensions. Now when I had them, um, I basically was recommended this. Now this is, it's called Unique One by Revlon Professional. You can't buy it in like boots or anywhere, but you can buy it online and it's not that expensive. It's probably about seven quid a bottle. I get mine on Amazon or eBay. And this is basically the best detangler when your hair's wet. Now, for you guys that know a lot about hair, when your hair's wet, it's the most, it's the time that it's most sort of susceptible to being damaged. If you brush it, it can snap really easily. So I basically spray this, you don't need much, spray it in my hair when it's wet before I even attempt to brush it because if you just brush it, you are literally just breaking it and breaking it. So putting it, it literally, this is like a 10 in one. It's repairs, it's shine and frizz control, heat protects, so like when you dry it, silks and smooths it, literally does so much. <laughs> and I'm not joking, I, since I bought it, obviously I've got my extensions out, I've not gone a day without it. I've re-bought it, I buy it ahead of it running out because if it runs out, I don't actually know what will happen. Bad things will happen. <laughs> so that is the other thing that I use when it's wet. Um, I love obviously oils as well. I think everybody knows that's just a classic thing. So the ones that I use again, OGX, I love them. OGX are really good. This is just this is probably like the cheaper version. Get it in boots. Obviously, I'm using Moroccan oil. It's only a mini one because I had a travel range, so that's the leftover one for my travel range. But um, oils, obviously, they're really good. Um, put them in wet, but also put a little bit in when they're dry. Um, I find it helps the ends sometimes. When my ends, when they're due to be cut, I think I just tend to like put a little bit in my ends when it's dry. But when you do it when it's dry, make sure it's the smallest amount. Don't put loads in, because you'll literally put it in and be like, whoa. Um, also it dries, so when you first put it in, it'll be a little bit wet, but just leave it like a couple of minutes and it will dry. So the next thing I was gonna go on to was cutting. Now, <laughs> obviously you do need to have your hair cut for it to be healthy. I've literally had mine cut last week, but you, I can't stress enough, like if you just leave your hair, it will grow, but it will be horrible. Um, I hate not having my hair cut. Now I'm so used to having the ends like really blunt that if it's not, then I'm just like, I just hate it basically. <laughs> but um, what I would say, I probably get mine done every 10 weeks. I have about a quarter of an inch. Cause I was telling my friend, she was like, I'm doing what you're doing, Soph, but my hair's not growing. I said, how much are you having cut off? And she said she was having half an inch cut off every six weeks. I was like, that's pretty much the amount that your hair grows. <laughs> your hair probably grows that amount, so you're just cutting it all off. But um, you wanna keep cutting it, but again, you don't wanna cut too much off or too regular, cause you probably find it will take a really long time to grow. So obviously, hair growth and stuff. Another thing that I did experiment with was hair burst. I've literally tried everything, guys. <laughs> Honestly, when I say it's taken me 26 years, I'm not lying. So hair burst is basically sort of the most popular current um, hair vitamin for your hair. So I started taking them last December when I had my hair extensions taken out. I'll show you guys some pictures of when, what it was like before. And obviously you can see what it is now. 
Um, so hair bears is basically, um, it's got so many different vitamins and things for your hair. Now, obviously I took this and my hair did grow loads. So I'm not gonna deny, I really do think it works, but I will be honest with you guys, I do think it had some kind of side effects because I've never had such bad skin as when I used hair bears. So I kind of just thought I was having a mid twenties crisis and I was like, my skin's never been really bad and suddenly it was awful all the time. I was like, every day I was like, I've had more spots and spots and spots. So I stopped taking this and it completely cleared up. So I kind of put two and two together. It might not be this, but I think there is a good chance because since my skin has been really clear and I've not gone back to not having loads of spots. So I think there is a good chance that this could be affected. <laughs> so I'll be honest with you guys, it will help your hair, but it might not make everyone have spots, but I just wanted to make you be honest with, <laughs> with the side effects that I thought it had. So currently I'm just taking a multivitamin instead. So this is just Centrum. I do think helping, uh, taking something does help. So I'm just gonna take like, I just take those for the moment. So um, that is pretty much it. Oh, last thing, not to forget, hairbrush, tangle tees. If you don't have one, get one. A, they don't hurt, and this is my tangle tees. Um, it, they literally, they just, they're so good. If you've not used one ever, <laughs> then you need to go and use one or buy one. There, you can get them in boots. They are like a tenner, but they're worth every penny. I've, this is my fourth one, I think. If I lose it or break it again, I've got to buy one straight away. It sort of doesn't pull or break your hair. So I'll just catch the lights so you can see, like as well, like how shiny, how much shiny my hair is now. So um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it everyone so thank you for watching um i hope you find some of the things useful even if you're brunette i mean a lot of the things you could probably find useful to yourself but blonde hair obviously is just a lot more difficult to to manage and handle because it's uh it gets very brittle and dry but um thanks so much for watching and hopefully i'll make a new video soon mm -hmm.